welcome to A level chemistry our topic for today is organic synthesis so this topic is fairly small and uh, there's nothing much there's just one main concept that we need to learn and there's something about roots of reactions like the roots that a, a synthetic root uh, how a reaction can take a synthetic root to the final product so it's uh, we'll solve some questions regarding that but it's fairly small and it's not really something to worry about because once you know all the reaction conditions and reagents which i've given in the playlists regarding those reactions then you know what to do so let's move further now we need to know about racemic mixtures okay so a re so whenever we have a reaction and a chiral product is formed and you know what a chiral center is a chiral center is a carbon atom that is attached to four different groups so this a then we have a b a c a d so um this is just the wedge dash uh, this is a wedge and uh, the other one is a dash and the other two are the normal bonds so that's how we draw a three dimensional structure and uh, so you know that this is a chiral molecule because it's attached to the carbon atom is chiral because it's attached to four different groups so we will get optical isomers we always get two optical isomers for one chiral atom so whenever a chiral compound is formed in a reaction then we will get two then we will get two optical isomers so we get 50% of one isomer that means half of the, uh, the half of the product is the is the d isomer and half of the product is the l isomer and these are non superimposable mirror images as you know about optical isomers so they are produced in a 50% 50% ratio so one is to one ratio and these are, therefore they are called racemic mixtures okay so these are called racemic mixtures so in medicinal chemistry if an optical isomer is used to treat a disease so let's just say that uh, the d isomer is used to treat a condition or a disease then it's not possible that we also use the l isomer because only one isomer has therapeutic benefits that means only one of these isomers in this case d can cure the disease so if we use l then maybe the disease will get cured but the chances of getting side effects are higher so we use the d isomer we only use one of the optical isomers so the a reaction which produces both these isomers it's carried out in such a way that instead of getting a mixture of both we get only one because we have to use only one if we get a mixture and we put the mixture in a medicine then there will be some amount of d and some amount of l but we only want d in the medicine so we carry out a reaction in such a way that we only get one isomer which is the d isomer in this case so that's really what you need to know about um, uh, about optical isom isomers in medicine you don't need to know anything else about how this is done about how one of those isomers is isolated uh, you don't really need to know uh, this is the only uh, the, the concept is the only thing you need to know so now let's solve some questions regarding synthetic roots so uh, we have this question so from benzene we are going to this compound and then in step 2 we are adding some chlorine to it and in step 3 we are uh, we we are making this so the final product is compound h the initial product uh, the re reactant is benzene so we go uh, we go so we go we go these many steps to get to compound h so now let's see what's happening so let's see step 1 so the, the first part asks state the reagents and conditions needed for step 1 so we are adding an alkyl side chain to the benzene ring so we will have to do the friedel crafts alkylation reaction so the friedel crafts alkylation reaction we use if you've seen my video on benzene and its compounds i have talked about this reaction so you can see that there are three ch3 groups so the reagent is ch3 whole thrice c cl because what will happen is that uh, this cl will be removed and this carbon atom this carbon atom will be joined to the benzene ring so this is the friedel crafts alkylation reaction so the reagents are ch3 ccl ccl and the condition is we need the alcl3 catalyst we need alcl3 as a catalyst in this reaction so as catalyst so i you have to write the full thing about why alcl3 is used 
uh, I've written uh, this we have done this in the benzene and its compounds playlist so if you are not aware about this reaction the Friedel 